The first thing we have to figure out in this problem is the ordered pair of the vertex of the graph. Now, you should know that an absolute value graph is going to give you a V-shaped, or an absolute value function is going to give you a V-shaped graph. So the, the vertex will be where that um, sharp turn is. The way to get that is to, to get the X value set the absolute value quantity equal to zero and solve for x. In this case, the absolute value quantity is x minus 3. So you say, well, x minus 3 has got to be zero. That's a really quick solve. You can tell x has to be 3. Once you got that, go back to the equation, plug that x value in and see what you get for y. So when x is 3, we get uh, 3 minus 3 plus 2, which is 0 plus 2, which is 2. That makes the vertex, the coordinates for the vertex, 3 for x and 2 for y. The next thing you have to do is figure out this table of values for x. That's nothing too awful, I don't, I don't think. You just uh, you plug in each of these x values, negative 10. I would give you negative 13 inside the bars, which turns into a positive 13, and then plus two more. Plugging in negative 6 gives you negative 9 in the bars, which becomes a positive 9 when you take the absolute value plus two more gives you 11, and so on. Plugging in negative one gives you negative four absolute value, which is four, and then add two more to give you six. Plugging in zero gives you a negative three inside the absolute value, which is a positive three. Once you take the absolute value, plus two more gives you five. And plugging in two gives you negative one inside the absolute value, which is a positive one on the outside plus two more, which gives you three. And if you plot these points, some of them don't even fit on the, on the chart that they give you. Uh, this one's too wide and too tall. This one's too tall. Negative one six, that's actually on there, right about there. Zero five is next door. Two three. And don't forget, we had the vertex we found was three two, so let's plot that. And we know since it's the vertex um, on this graph that's going to open up, that means from there it's got to go up at the same time. So this is going to be the bottom point. So that's the vertex. We found that in part A. So the rest of the graph is going to be all up ones and over ones from there. So the graph should look something like that. And then finally they ask you what's the range. The range is the y value. So start low and go high. The lowest y value on the graph is at the vertex. That is a y value of 2, and it's included. So I'm going to put a bracket on the 2, and then everything above that exists on the graph. Uh, you go up to infinity from there, but we never include infinity, so that'll get a parenthesis, and that describes the range. <laughs>